while we're on the subject of all, all, all some of these miscellaneous improvements, um, a couple areas that I think are a huge benefit is in our formats, you might notice that we have some new options here. Oh, yes. So we have the ones that we're used to seeing, but in addition, if, if we choose MP3 file, we now have the option to choose variable bitrate. Uh, personally, mm -hmm. I, I usually use constant, but I know some people use variable bitrate. It's a dynamic thing that allows you to maximize just the quality right. and, and size factor of things. Um, but what I'm more excited about is... M4A. M4A support. Woo. That's a huge one. I'll let you... So I want you to well, we go ahead. We were, well, we <laughs> we were talking about I got excited yesterday. about that one for various reasons, but I'll let you tell, I'll let you tell it. Well, I mean, the <laughs> obvious one is just being able to export an AAC file, right? Right. right. It, it, it's, it's, it's a new format. You know, the codex yes. sounds great. Yeah, I've does. never used uh, ALAC. I've never used that, but this one is completely lossless. Right. So that's really cool. I'm going to check, check that out. I haven't actually used it, but... The idea here is that the quality is lossless, so the sides remain, but there's like an encode decode thing. So, Kinda ideally, like a, it should be like a like a CD quality file that right. with, yes. with with more like a MP3. Kind of like a like an audio size. zip file. <laughs> yes, right. yes, 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 exactly. Yeah. So, so going back to um, the the previous point, you know, the, the real benefit is this: is that you know. You, you're on the subway or waiting for the bus and, you know, everybody has one of these in their pockets now and you, you know, how many times do you get great ideas when you're, you know, not near your DAW and you just want to sing them into your phone, you know, on a voice memo, for example, and if you're using, uh, you know, an Apple iPhone, for example, all you have to do is basically, you know, email yourself or you know, the, the file, now you can drag it directly into Studio One without having to convert it to an MP3 mm -hmm. or a wave. Right. Yeah, that's a big one because yeah. every single idea, unless it's somebody that's working in a DAW, every single idea that I get sent is a phone. <laughs> is, is, is a voice memo yes. from, a, from a, either an iPhone or, you know, a Samsung, an Android yeah. device or whatever. It's always, and it's always this type of file. And my thing has always been having to go, okay, well, I got to open up an external application right. like like Isotope or something. But just being able, and it's such a simple thing, but just having the support to, yes. to be able to import and export. So when you import it, it will automatically convert it to whatever your session is. Um, let's talk about a, a couple other things, though. Um, I want to just drag in. There's this handsome guy. Oh, mm -hmm. look at that handsome. Here. Oh, my gosh. Let's drag this in. And what do we have? Okay, well, this is... It's really a little iPhone video. <laughs> yeah. Let me... Of a terrible guitar player. <laughs> really cool guitar, though. I mean, hey, how do you like my Saints guitar? Yeah, shout out to uh, my bros at, at Schechter Guitars. Uh, the, the, the guys are Saints Yeah, that's fans. a really cool guitar. Yeah, man. Yeah. So we're, in this... We're going to the this Super was Bowl shot. this year. I'm just telling you. <laughs> <laughs> so this was shot. This was shot on an iPhone. And sometimes I won't get a voice memo. Sometimes I'll get a video. And... Well, we have here the video, the movie support, but not only that, I can extract this audio and boom, it's well, instantly bam. there, right? It is. And then the great thing about this is, like I said, it's just created a cached file at whatever the sample rate is of my song, which is 2448, and it's a WAV file. Right. So let's cache that, and we can immediately play back this audio that we have. But keep in mind, when you get sent files like this, this is often the starting point for your song. So Rick, I love you, buddy, but I'm going to hide you for a moment. Okay. Um, once you get this in, and my first step would be to, to, to actually, you know, beat map this so that it, it makes sense and then I would set it to how I need it to be. But keep in mind, at any point, you know, we still have Studio One's awesome tools where we can start using the chord track and I could start <laughs> building this arrangement out right yep. away because it instantly becomes, you know, the building blocks of your session. You're, working, right. you're working from a voice memo file or a video that you're literally converting into into your song into your production That's and then so you cool. start fleshing it out you time align it you bring in beats and everything i'm telling like that. you every songwriter and producer that i've ever worked with is going to love this feature yeah because yeah. a lot of them put their ideas on the phones and they're always trying to figure out ways to get it into the door so they can flesh out the production sure it's going to be but then the other thing you know, rick is let's say i i say okay well rick i'm gonna i'm gonna do some mixing and we can you know, I add an EQ and I make this sound nice and pretty and maybe we add a reverb or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then you say, oh man, I, I would love to hear what you're working with. And I say, yeah, yeah, sure, no problem. Well, I can now go to song and export video. And Whoa. as you can imagine, this is the feature 
that a lot of people have been asking for. This right. is a Gary Noble this feature. Yeah, Gary I, request, I requested this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. And it's, and, and, and it's such a simple thing, which is like, okay, I've redone my audio. I need to stitch and attach that audio to my video. Yes. Right? And export it back out. So, so now you don't have to export the audio and open up some video program. Right, like external application. Uh, I had to stitch, stitch them back, back together. Right. Uh, yeah, that was a... Uh, <laughs> and this is it's done really well. So, for example, most of the time you want to just use the sort whatever the source codecs are. Right. That's so right. So I want, regardless of whether my Studio One song is 24, 48, 32, whatever, mm -hmm. I just say, like, whatever the source codecs are for the video file, just use those. Yes. But yeah. replace the audio, and it's going to attach Studio One's audio. New audio to this video. with your video. So I, I, I'm going to bring up a little point, and this is for any of you guys out there that are uh, maybe using a, a digital mixer like a Studio Live Series 3 or any digital mixer. So, you know, all of the digital mixers out there when you're, when you're using them live these days have the ability to multi-track record. And the interesting thing is now, you know, we have these little 4K cameras in our pockets now. I mean, the, the, the video quality on a, on a, you know, iPhone XX or, or a um, Samsung Galaxy is so good now. But, of course, you know, you're on a gig and you're shooting, you know, your, your gig, the video is pretty good, but the audio is still coming through this little crappy microphone. Well, you know, my band, we multi-track record all the time. We can record straight to an SD card with the Studio Live 32. So now, check this out. All I have to do when I get back home is take my multi-track file on the song that I want, and I can import in my, you know, iPhone movie. And now I can kind of basically, you know, uh, time align where, where the, uh, the, the song starts. And I can mix multi-track audio, proper audio, with my, with my video. And that's really awesome because uh, I, d I didn't have to do that much to do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huge, huge time saver. So one last area, which isn't, isn't really part of Studio One 4.5, but it's a real cool new product that you guys are also launching today is... Uh, and. Gary and I were talking about this this morning over breakfast. Is the audio batch converter? So this is something that you. Got, I'll let you. I'll let you introduce it, and we'll take a look. Yeah, at, at yeah. How it so, works. so, so today is not only the launch of Studio One 4.5, which is a free update.